Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another makeup review for you guys. Really quick, my right eye seems to be watering a lot. I hate when that happens, but the show must go on. So if you guys do see that my eyeshadow is being a little weird on my right, it started as of yesterday and I can't make it stop. And also I have a little monster right here. It's like one of those zits where like, it doesn't have a head like and it's there and you're trying to like poke at it but nothing comes out and i don't want to hurt my skin anymore so she's just chilling right here what else can i do what else can she do <laughs> if you guys have any tips on how to remove this little bee please let me know down in the comments this collection you guys is from b bella so they sent this over with this really cute pr package which you guys can also get online it literally looked like a orange carton or like those milk cartons that we used to drink when i was in school and you pretty much just remove it and you have the collection inside. And I just wanted to show you guys like, look how adorable this is. My orange squeeze, 100% flawless looks. And then when you turn it to the back, like look at that. It has the ingredients <laughs> in the back and I just love this. It says 60% shadow palette, 30% blush palette, 10% setting spray. 100% flawless look. I love when companies do this. Like it is seriously the cutest. With the collection, you do have three items. So we have the Orange Squeeze Setting Spray. This is infused with vitamin C and it's great for all skin types. Now it does not claim to be matte. And with that said, I love using these setting sprays sometimes to the ones that are not matte because if I do, I am the type of person that goes in with a lot of setting powder and powders. So whenever I spray something like this, it just really makes my skin look more hydrated and bring life back into my skin. And then we have their blush palette, which I thought was so pretty. I love these eyeshadow, eyeshadow, these blush colors. So pretty. We have a shimmer blush right here. You guys can tell right away and the rest are matte. And of course we have the star of the show, which is the orange squeeze shadow palette. It does contain 15 eyeshadows and we have anything from like the duochrome shimmer shadows and mattes. I do have a little flyer here, you guys, to tell you the prices. If you want the entire PR, which is what I got, that will retail for only $30. Um, the eyeshadow palette by itself will retail you for 12 the blush $8 and finally the setting spray will retail for $7 I know I always say this in my videos but Be Bella and Beauty Creations have really great products um, and I also just really love the price because it doesn't hurt our bank start off with the eyes first and then I will do the skin with you guys and try both of these products but low-key I'm actually really excited about the palette <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and I'm gonna start to apply my eyeshadow primer. Of course, you already know that I love to go into my Urban Decay Eden primer because it's matte and it really helps for eyeshadows to really stand out, especially with today's eyeshadow palette because we have a bunch of brighter colors. You know, like we have the oranges and we have the yellows. So we really wanna make sure that we're using a primer so that way they stay all night and they do last and they really peek through to their natural color. I'm gonna go into my Morphe M456. And the first eyeshadow that I think I wanna go into is this one right here. It's called Little or Lil, Lil Cuties. <laughs> this one and I'm just going to apply this in my crease as well as taking it out towards the outer corner this brush from morphe it's very small it's a little smaller than my morphe m433 and I am going to apply this Woo! that provided a lot of pigment right away just an FYI that a little bit goes a long way and I'm just going to kind of hug my eye I want to keep this very orangey wow this is pigmented okay be bella <laughs> i'm gonna bring it down this way so buttery it feels very buttery on my eyelids and i'm just praying to jesus that this eye controls itself it behaves and it doesn't water because just going into my morphe m433 now with no product i'm just going to start to buff this out and make it look nice and smooth still keeping this circular like we're hugging the eye hopefully that makes sense like normally i always extend it out this way or i do it just right here in the crease but today we are 
hugging the eye. I'm gonna go into a shade called Concentrated Queen. It actually looks like a dark red orange. So this is what I'm gonna use to deepen up the um, this part, <laughs> the outer corner of the eye, without hiding that orange. So I'm taking the Morphe M456 and just going right underneath here and then bringing it in. I'm actually very amazed, you guys, on how pigmented these eyeshadows are. Wow. And as you guys can see, that I'm applying it on that orange and it turns it more like a red, dark orange. I love that. Taking the Morphe M433 and I'm just buffing out both of these eyeshadows together with no product on my brush. You can definitely go back in, but I feel like this is perfect for me. So, so far you guys, so pretty. I'm really, really loving this pigment. Like it is absolutely buttery and it's crazy on how well these two are blending out. So there's no chalkiness, there's no lifting, separating. They're blending very, very nicely. And a little bit seriously goes a long way and it's very buildable too. I really wanna go into the yellow. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for the entire lid. I was gonna go into like these glitter shades, but I think I might use that for the inner corner or maybe for a different video maybe I'll apply it who knows we'll see I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay Eden primer once again and I'm just gonna cut my crease going back to that small Morphe M456 taking the shade called concentrated Queen again and you guys know the drill we're gonna go ahead and just apply it towards this outer corner here and I just like to kind of stamp the eyeshadow in Taking my Jaw Cosmetics, the CC number two, I'm gonna go into that yellow shade because it's really calling my name and it's right in the center of the palette, so why not? Mimosa time, ooh, I love mimosas. Mimosas actually get me super drunk. <laughs> like if I have one or two glasses, I'm like tipsy already. Like literally it starts to hit me. Anybody else? I love mimosas. I love unlimited mimosas too. All right, so with this, I'm just gonna apply it all here and you know what i think i might use the glitter shade towards this outer portion i think so i will say with the yellow you do have to go in more than once to get this pigment that i got right here but that's okay because it's not chalky or patchy it actually looks really nice on the eyelid but i did want to just mention that because you will have to go in more than once to create to get this pigment you know what else i want to do you guys i'm going to go into the shade called orange rush this one and I am going to just apply it towards this outer corner, just like right here. And I'm just, again, just tapping. Ooh, looks like a sunset. <laughs> All right, so I had an idea and I want to go into the shade called um, Quench It, this one, because it really spoke to me and I love the way that it looks in the inner corner. I am using my finger though to apply it, but I'm just applying it right here in the inner corner. Like, look at that. It's like an orange explosion. <laughs> a little update, you guys, on my eye. It's not watering. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and slap on some lashes and do my skin off camera. And then I will finish the under eye with you guys and apply the blush and the setting spray. And then we will give you guys my final thoughts on this eyeshadow look and on this collection. For the under eye, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Tres Luce. This is, I believe, their, it's their Intenso liner, but I wanna say it's called Honest. I need to buy a new one. <laughs> so for my under eye, I'm just gonna run it just towards this outer corner of the eye. And that's it. I don't want to bring it all the way in. And then what I'm going to do is to blend that out, I'm going to take the shade called Concentrated Queen and I'm going to run that towards the lower lash line. I want to go into Orange Rush and I'm also going to run that towards my lower lash line. Blend this out using my Sigma E55 brush. The reason why I did go into that brown liner is so that way it creates that darkness. So when we go into that burnt red orange shade, it looks you know, smoky and dark. For my waterline, I'm gonna go into Tranquila from Tres Luce. It's just a nude, and I'm gonna run it in my waterline. Using my Morphe M431, which is a small little bullet brush, taking that, remember this eyeshadow here, I'm gonna run that again in my inner corner, and then just a little bit towards the lower lash line to connect everything. Ooh, that is pigmented. Okay, so I definitely want to dust off this powder and then I'm going to go into the blush with you guys. Okay, it's time for blush. My favorite part. You guys know that I am such a blush girl. I can't do my makeup without without it. I know I've had friends in the past that they only use bronzer as blush and I just, I mean, it looks nice, but I feel like there's something missing on the apples of my cheeks and I can't complete my makeup look with that. 
um, without any blush. So I am gonna go into this color right here. Unfortunately, there's no names on the blush, but this one is just going right here. Smile, I'm gonna place it just on the apples of my cheeks and then move it this way. Okay, so you do have to build it up. It doesn't give you that much intensity off the bat, like what I'm normally used to, but I mean, you can still see the color there. I do wanna go into this right here, just a little bit, so it's a shimmer br um, blush. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Oh, that's nice. It's very light, like it's not glittery. Very, very pretty. Look at that. I think I went too much. <laughs> but on the cheeks though, in person, it looks so, ooh, that's really pretty. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off my brows, apply a lip color, and then I'll be right back with you guys, and I'm gonna set this spray. I just wanna point out, you guys, the lip that I used today. I went into the Jaclyn Hill Empowered Liquid Matte Lipstick. Definitely one of my favorite formulas, you guys, at the time. If you guys have not purchased any of Jaclyn Hill's liquid lipsticks, they are seriously a must. And then for my lip pencil, Makeup by Mario in the shade Travis. Seriously, one of my go-to lip pencils as well. As you can tell, I need to go back and buy another one. Now for the final product, you guys, is their setting spray. So again, this is the Orange Squeeze Setting Spray infused with vitamin C. I love me some vitamin C, and it's great for all skin types. So I did go into a lot of powders earlier today, and since this does not claim to be matte, it's definitely going to help you know, make my skin feel more hydrated with all of the powders that I have on my skin and not feel super dry. I am oily, so normally I do tend to go more for like a matte setting spray, but sometimes because I over powder a lot, it's good to go in with one of these setting sprays once in a while. Ooh, it does have a little bit of a scent, but not like strong or overpowering. And I'm gonna take my fan and just dry myself down. <laughs> And that's pretty much it, you guys. That is it for today's makeup tutorial using the new collection from Be Bella Cosmetics, the Orange Squeeze collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys know what I think about each product. So the setting spray, since we just used her, um, it's good. Like I said earlier too, I'm not, I normally don't wear setting sprays as often, but this did spray on very, very nicely and it's great for all skin types. So I'm gonna leave this one up to you if you guys feel like you need a new setting spray. Is it a must for me? No. Like if I were to buy this collection by myself, I definitely would not gravitate towards a setting spray. One, I do have a lot. <laughs> I'm very blessed that I've been gifted a lot of setting sprays. So for me personally, I would skip out on this. The blush, it is seriously so pretty. Now that I, I actually have it on for a few minutes now, like it looks very, very nice and I like it. The only thing that I will say though is that you do have to build up the intensity um, or build up the blush because you guys saw the first time that I went in, you couldn't really see the blush. But you guys can see that on my cheeks there is some color, so obviously it did do its job. And But the only thing that I will say is that you do have to build it up. The palette though, I am obsessed. Out of all these three things, I definitely feel like I would gravitate more towards the palette if I wasn't gifted this. Like the palette seriously screams out spring to me, summer even, and I love the pigmentation, the quality. I know that I keep sounding like a broken record whenever I do be, um, beauty creations or Be Bella makeup reviews, but I genuinely, you guys, seriously, the corazón, I love their eyeshadow quality. I really, really do. I love the pigments, like this glitter in the inner corner, just the fact that I didn't have to go in with any glitter adhesive and it's sticking to my skin very nicely, I mean, speaks volume. And of course, the pigmentation on these other eyeshadows, I had no issues at all blending them together. You can clearly see them, even with the studio lights, you can see that if you, if you were to see this in person too, it looks exactly like this, just a little bit more pigmented because Obviously we have so much lights on me, but follow me on Instagram and I will definitely post more selfies or pictures of this makeup look, but I really enjoyed this palette and I really wanna play with it some more. I don't have a palette in my collection that personally looks just like this. So for me, like it's definitely a go if I didn't, um, if I wasn't sent this and the price, $12? You definitely cannot beat that. And once again, like I always say, whatever works for me may not work for you and vice versa. So 
I am just here to give you guys my opinions, my thoughts, my the reviews, the swatches. You guys saw everything here. I did not filter anything. This is literally what it looks like right now on my skin. So I had so much fun today playing with this new collection. I just love playing with new collections. Like they're so fun to actually dig in, play, get the experience, and then give you guys my thoughts. Um, so I really enjoyed this collection personally. I love you. Take care. And I will see you guys uh, on Saturday. But don't be on Espanol. But if you want to see another one in English, I will catch you guys on Tuesday, next Tuesday. <laughs> Besos.